Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here, kind of at a tilt, and today we need to talk about Deck Master Monday. So one of the coolest Deck Master, and honestly guys, I know it just says that there's one. It says Barrier Statue of the Heavens, but guys, we're actually going to talk about all of them. It's just this is the one that I have sleeved up, it was the closest one to me, and um, honestly we want to talk about all of them because they all have the same darn effect. And what it is... Is there a generic template card that generated back during Cyberdark Impact? Um, they were all commons. So you guys could play these in common charity. You guys could play these in the master game. No speed duel yet. Um, but maybe, maybe sometime in the future, they will break the game and let us have them. But they are all a four star of each of the six attributes. All 1,000 by 1,000. With the effect that no monsters can be special summoned except matching attribute. So, again, short, short video today. But let's talk about the pricing real quick. Because I've got it pulled up. So, I was looking these up on TCG. If you guys are looking for these. Um, again, you guys can get the maximum gold ones. They're rarely going to be over a dollar. Uh, the, I think the most expensive one is actually the Storm Winds. And again, this is because of the... Uh, I think it was the Simorg Bird of Sovereignty play that actually allowed this to work so well. And then it was that quick play um, bird spell that I used. Again, the name is just going to escape me because I didn't bother to do my homework. Um, that allowed us to play another winged beast out of our deck, which still allows the Barrier Statue of Stormwinds to be the most effective one. And again, you get to play it in cool decks like Harpies, which Celestial Duelist absolutely loves. Um, so that's cool. And then, of course, you've got Drought, you've got the Abyss, you've got the Inferno Torrent. Uh, and again, you have all of the uh, Cyber Dark Impact variants as well. Again, Stormwind's going to be the most expensive. Um, so if you guys are looking to pick up a set of these, I would say just go for it. Um, they're always going to be useful cards. And as far as playing a speed duel, or sorry, as far as playing a deck master challenge, all you have to do is make sure that your deck is one attribute. This is like having a goes and match plus as a monster, except it only works for you. So again, you want to play, and we're just going to use all of Celestial's decks real quick. If you're going to be playing Black Wings, you know you want a special summon, so just play the Barrier Statue of Abyss. And then again, you know, dark attribute, very common. Your opponent might be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh. If you're going to play something like a water deck, go ahead, play the Torrent statue. And then what's your opponent going to do? Sit there and grump? They just don't get to special summon non-water. They can still play non-water cards, just not special summoning them. Um, and again, we never have to move them from next to our deck. So kind of awesome. But yeah, just quick Monday video. Quick, inexpensive cards. You guys can get them again with the uh, the gold names, with the non-foil backs. Or you guys could go just the full common, get the original Cyberdark Impacts. Uh, not much in the way of word changing, just like an updated, if you like a little foil on your card. Uh, but outside of that, guys, hopefully this is going to be a great start to another great week for you guys. If you'd like to support the channel, do the things. If not, hey, just keep showing up and that's enough for me. You guys have a lovely day, and hopefully we'll get to see you again tomorrow. See you later, my friends.